Hello, and welcome back to the pet room. I must get back in here, but I've been working in the basement. I have tears. Now, you all know, I've been trying to declutter. Sometimes it goes well. Sometimes not so well. And I really try not to find things. I really do. But on occasion, things don't work out. By the way, I was recently, well, I don't know, a year ago, in a value village. And there were these envelopes. And these envelopes, they're big and they're padded. And do I think I would mail anything in them? Well, maybe, but not likely. Nothing that was sacred. But they're beautiful and magical for putting circuit boards in. For example, oh, and I have all these up here. Look, it's a good 4040 board. Missing 6502, August 2023. So that's a year ago. Anyway, I was searching in these things, looking for more super pet boards that I didn't find. So pet room is a little bit messier than it was. Oh dear, things are happening. Excuse me. What do we got here? 4040 with power and air LEDs works. I think 6502, 6502. Okay. Good, good, good. I'll put that back under the table. Anyway, up above I have a bunch of these. Oh, is this one full? Oh, yeah. Here's one that's full. I should put that back. Flooded 4040 PCB. Gorge disk drive. Four chips out of 10. Okay. Board repopulated flashes. Five, five times. Parts. Okay, I'm putting these under the table. And I think the rest of them are empty. Anyway, back to my story. I was looking online. That's always a mistake. It's funny, I just bumped into a fellow said, every time I go on Marketplace, it costs me money. Anyway, things happen. So I did see... There was a bunch of stuff. And I don't know that it's all Commodore related. There was certainly a 64 that had, um, it's been modified. Does it work? Who knows? Does it even come with a power saw? Probably not. But it did have a lot of other things with it, including a bus card, a BI-80. In, in the pictures, I saw a C-Link, but so far in just the quick looking at the boxes as I brought it in. I haven't found that, so I might have to write to the fellow and say, where's that thing? Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. At at the beginning of when the listing came out, it also included an Acorn Atom, which I, I have a little experience with. A friend of mine in high school, when everyone else was getting their 20s, Commodore 64s, pets, and other such things, he was like, ooh, I've got an, ac an acorn atom. It has like something like 32K of ROM. No, something other of ROM and how much of RAM. And it was like, yeah, yeah, that's great. I mean, it's interesting to have something that is unique. But, you know, you know, you know, anyway. Anyway, by the time I got to this thing, I saw that it had been marked down somewhat in price. Because the acorn atom was gone. So, I said, hmm, interesting. Um, so I was communicated quickly, and it seemed, I figured that this, this thing wouldn't last long. Now, unfortunately, it was not close. Not at all. Needless to say, the last night, I got in the car at 10 at night. And got back about 2 in the morning. But I did get boxes and boxes of stuff. Including, it seems to be, very, very early um, editions of the Transactor. So I'll have to get in touch with 
Carl Hilden, who was the transactor man. And this, this is not like ones with the pretty covers. This is when the transactor was produced by Commodore. And um, and it was like a, more of a, like a newsletter thing. I've never seen these. Some of them are, I just glanced, um, 1979. Anyway, but there's lots of other stuff. And as I say, some stuff may be applicable to other machines. I'm not sure. So it may be that I gather a box to send to Rudy. Because Rudy likes all kinds of other weird stuff. Not that I don't. It's just that he, he specializes in not specializing. Um, but he's certainly been learning more about the 8032. And uh, we're still working on that super pet board that just won't come around. Oh, it's hot. It's very hot. Anyway, so I'm just getting the pet room a little bit sorted out here. So that I can bring the boxes in. And explore and show you what it is that I found and also I guess I should yes I should have another box handy for the things that I can send away with Rudy for his explorations cheers so it's not that I'm not decluttering anymore um, and certainly this room which is the pet room is becoming more cluttered but I must keep going in the basement. I have to, you know, and I'm really trying to set aside different days of the week that I do different things. And of course, there's always a thing I do a little bit everywhere. It doesn't look I did anything anywhere. So I'm trying to focus. And definitely the basement, there are boxes that I'm looking through that sometimes I open up a box and I say, what was I thinking? And other times, like I found this beautiful set of wind chimes that have are accented with butterflies on the top, and the thing on the bottom is a butterfly thing, and they're lovely, and I like the sound. And it's funny, they don't often make the sound, because <coughs> it takes a pretty good wind to get them to move. But you can always sort of shake it. You can. Anyway, I do need to get back in here. I need to carry on. I do, I do, I do. So, but right now, I'm going to get a box and explore. So stand by for all kinds of treasures. And some things that I might look at and say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Anyway, so thanks for coming to the pet room. I'll see you again soon. Very soon. Uh, and, and this, if you haven't noticed, this, this is my hat that I wore at the Cheap Hug Conference in, I can tell you, 1985. Oh, that's falling out. That's falling out. Don't do that. You know what? I like that logo for Cheap Hug way back funky chair thing stuff. I don't know why. I just did. Here, here this one has like some of the magic carpet. I don't get it. Oh, oh, I see why this is coming out. It's a thing. It's just plastic. It's come undone on the top. Okay. Anyway, let me help with this button. Oh, and I guess the last... Oh, funny, I thought this thing... Anyway, the last time I really had it out... I remember, look at the world of Commodore in 2004. That's a while ago. All right. I'm going to put this down. Oh, wait a minute. I've got the microphone. I'm going to put this back on. And I'm going to go and get the first box. So, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.